What's really profound for me about this next story of Jeff Henderson is that it's never too late to have a wake-up call and that all life is about growing to be who you were most meant to be, the best version of yourself, and that even if it takes a disaster in your life, there's always time until you take your last breath to recognize that you have the power. Millions of people from around the world have heard Chef Jeff Henderson's extraordinary life story on Oprah. I was born in the hood without purpose. I started to sell drugs. I went to prison. In the prison kitchen, I found my dream and my purpose in life. Chef Jeff utilizes his life-changing testimony on how to turn natural talent into high-performing individuals while inspiring audiences to discover their full potential in all areas of their lives. Leaders, managers, supervisors, and employees take away result-driven workplace strategies right from the chef's recipe book of best practices. Because I believe that everybody was born with a purpose. I believe everybody was born with God-given talent God-given straps. Audiences will be inspired after hearing Chef Jeff's talk, From the Streets to the Stove, based on his New York Times best-selling memoir, Cooked, which is currently being adapted into a major motion picture starring Will Smith. And so how do you feel having now really, truly made it based on values and substance? I feel blessed. I mean, you know, there's so many people who helped me, and I got so many great opportunities uh, after my release from prison that um, I'm excited and, you know, I'm very grateful and humble. The book Cooked chronicled his rise from the drug and gang infested streets of Southern California to a prison dishwasher to an award winning chef. Audiences will learn his life changing best practices right out of his recipe book on how he turned his life around to become an executive chef at the renowned Bellagio Hotel. Why do you think you made it? I made it because I had a dream in prison. From a young child, I always wanted to be somebody. And in prison, I was being praised for my food. That was a driving force for me. And I said to myself that I want to be a chef someday. His testimony is raw, moving, and original, unveiling the strategies he used to achieve personal and professional success. And I knew in order to continue building my career, I had to become the best. I had to go amongst the best, the best in the industry. So I took dishwashing jobs to get in. And I worked my way up studying, reading books, never been to culinary school a day of my life. I just built the right relationships and put myself around the best and brightest talent out there. Hospitality industry audiences will hear Chef Jeff's straightforward and proven business principles on workplace leadership and management. Entry-level supervisors and managers will learn Chef Jeff's approach to turning talent into performance and managing a diverse workforce. It's not just about a guy who once sold drugs, who spent 10 years in prison. It's about change. Change is a transformation of a person going from one stage of life to another. And that is the core of my story. His expertise in the culinary world comes from over 20 years experience in the food industry. You need to get focused. Push, 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 push. His resume boasts 10 years at Marriott, Ritz-Carlton, Hotel Bel Air, L'Hermitage, Caesars Palace, and Bellagio Hotel. Your audience will experience a high-impact cooking demonstration mixed with Chef Jeff's powerful story of how he walked out of federal prison with a dream to become a chef and went on to pursue his passion in some of America's top kitchens. Everybody has a genie bottle inside of them full of potential, and the potential is in there. The only way that top's gonna come off and you're gonna be able to utilize your true full potential is that you have to see, hear, and experience certain things that give you the confidence to want to try something different, to give you the confidence to change. Chef Jeff delivers a compelling and inspirational talk to community-based organizations, at-risk juveniles, socially challenged adults, and criminal justice groups. See, change is hard for some people because we fear the unknown. Her family was misplaced during the Katrina, and I recently worked with her with an organization called MFHA down in New Orleans, and I trained her in some cooking technique. She was born with one arm, and when I came to this organization to help these young kids off the streets, I was moved by her story, and today she's working in the Hilton Hotels. Wait. Okay. Yeah.
In his lecture, The Pipeline to Prison, Chef Jeff's message takes the audience on a journey through his childhood growing up in poverty, his rise to millionaire drug dealer at age of 19, to his path to redemption, then legitimate success after serving nearly a decade in federal prison. You get put in one of the jobs that people want the least. You get put in the kitchen and you're washing dishes, but you saw it as an invitation into a new world, didn't you? Absolutely. I mean, a lot of inmates looked at it as punishment. I looked at it as an opportunity. His story is chronicled in his 2007 New York Times bestselling memoir, Cook. I'll tell you, it's an unbelievable read. You need to go out and take a look at it. It's called Cook from the Streets to the Stove, from Cocaine to Foie Gras. His message is original and powerful, as seen on Oprah today, Good Morning America Food Network Chef Jeff Project, and My Life and Food. I saw a different from my father. I saw an opportunity that I can change my family, break the cycle. How did a kid get a job at Marriott, Rich Carlton, Hotel Bel Air, Lermitage, and the Bellagio, and never went to a cooking school in his life?